If you have exactly five cursors, removes five cursors. Please, please tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Oh wait, no, that one's a blessing. One, two, three, four, five. No way, no. And it's free. That's gotta be too good to be true, right? <laughs> yes! Hey everybody and welcome back to LTV Plays Undermine. So, we're gonna spend some of this delicious hard-earned thorium that we've got. Because, I mean, 72? I don't think we're ever gonna have this much thorium again. I'm gonna buy the most expensive thing I can buy. So we've got a 40 there. 40 is, 40 is a big one. Oh, actually, I wanna see what this is. Sustain yourself on gold. So I heal, heal if I pick up gold. That's cool. Throwing star. Thrown pickaxe penetrates enemies and objects. Ooh. That's also cool. Deal more swing damage at low height. Yeah, not care. Teleport to your pickaxe. Oh, that could have been so good with the with the Thor thing that I had on the run before this one. So I could throw the axe and then teleport to it and then just go in loads of lightning. That are my epic sound effects. You're never gonna find sound effect work better than what I've just done right there. Uh, orbits the peasant and shocks enemies on contact. We'll take it. I don't know if it's going to be the best thing there, but it was expensive. And it gets it gets one expensive purchase out of the way, I guess. Maybe I craft a potion or something as well. Um, are these permanent upgrades? These are permanent upgrades. Ooh. Ah. Alright, alright. So, we'll have a look at some potion brewing. Recover a random amount of health. Hmm. Recover health for each uh, for each carried curse. Interesting. Spawn larvae. Hmm. Ghost pepper sauce, become immune to fire damage and ignite yourself. Okay. I mean, it's not really going to do much for you though, is it? Because like, igniting yourself doesn't damage things around you. I don't know, I don't get it. That makes no sense to me. Cell's blood seems like it could be good though. It's expensive though. And it's only a one time use, just a one pop thing. Uh, I'm gonna say recover a random amount of health. Just, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know why. I get to take it with me. It's, it's something, I guess. It's probably not gonna be great, but you know, it's something. We'll take, we'll take it. It's fine. So I took my sweet time getting into this run because I'm smart. Is that throw damage increase? Throw damage increase already? Oh, you too, you too kind, game. You are much too kind. So this orb thing doesn't even shock pilfers, which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping it'd at least shock a pilfer because them pilfers are in need of a shocking. Um, you know what? That's, that's actually pretty decent. That is a pretty, pretty strong orbital. Yeah. Cannot deny this thing's potential. 29 damage per tick, plus it chains to everything else. Yes, please. I don't mind if I do. Seems pretty nice. It's a hefty damage amount. I would... Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. I don't even need to use a pickaxe at this point. I know I probably should be using a pickaxe. But, why bother? Why bother when you've got a magical blue circle that just does all of your bidding for you? Get out of here! Get away from my gold! Nope. Eh. Nah. <laughs> this is mine. Oh yes, this is good. I really like this one. The fork thing. Triple axe throw is like my favourite thing ever so far. This combined with like lightning. That's going to be good. That's going to be good eats. Okay, maybe it's not my favourite thing ever because I forgot there is still the existence of the chakram. The chakram definitely surpasses this. I thought he stole my gold then, but it's fine. He doesn't seem to be carrying any gold. So maybe he didn't steal my gold. Which is which is good. It's good good for him, at least. Good for the little pilfering thiefing thing. 
Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up just yet. I just saw it. I didn't want it to get damaged on the spikes. But I should have gone to the to the altar. I don't have any keys to even get to the altar, so it's fine. It's fine. I guess I guess it doesn't matter. If I had keys, then I definitely should have gone to the altar first and picked up a curse and then used the thing to get rid of the curse. But I do not have keys. And we're out of rooms to explore on this floor anyway. So it's fine. It, it all worked out for the best. Other than the fact that I took a little bit of damage. I wonder how much health this mysterious potion that I've just bought can actually heal. I mean, is it going to be like a really pitiful amount, like 12? Or is it going to be something that's relatively hefty, but still just a bit random? You know, like it could, if it could do like anywhere between 50 and 200 or something like that, then that could be worth it. That could be pretty sweet. But for the time being, I don't really think it's going to be that useful. Probably only going to recover a small amount of health. Sure, I'll take a curse, why not? I mean, we've got six bombs out of it. You can't really grumble at six bombs. Uh, do I blow up some of these things? Mm, I'm not going to for now. But I might come back. I might come back and blow them up at some point. What is this curse? Double all costs? Okay. What do you mean by all costs? Oh, look at all these... Look at all the stuff I got in the shop. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, most of it's the same, but it's good anyway. Those bats actually startled me a little bit then. So I'm not impressed by meat costing 200. I don't, I don't really need it. So it's fine, I suppose, but I'm still not impressed by it. Absolutely love the triple throw. Triple throw is so good. So, so good. It's just better for room clearing. Plus, as soon as one of the axes returns to you, then you can throw again. Which is also very nice. It's not like you need to wait for all three to come back before you can throw again. So there's just axes everywhere, all the time. It's great. Don't land in the fire. Don't land in the fire. I can't see a thing. I really dislike that I can't see in these rooms anymore. I really need to do something about it, but you know, it's fine. I'll struggle. I think it literally is because there's a lot of light in here now, um, and it's just putting a tiny, tiny bit of glare on the screen. It's only a, only a little bit, but it just makes it hard to see in dark, dark environments like that. Plus, as I've mentioned, oh, that's what double all costs does. No, screw that. I don't want that. That's bad. I'm going to take a bit of damage instead. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I know I can make that jump. I have done that before. I don't just slide off then. Okay. Nice and steady. That's fine. That is fine. No, give me the thing. Talisman. Goodbye, curse. That is good stuff. Um, some sort of serum. Temporarily increase attack speed. I'm going to chug this thing, see what it does. 116? Okay, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I should have... No, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have kept the other potion if I'd have done that. I was going to say I should have, like, yeeted myself off there. So I'd be back at the other side. Then chug the potion. But it wouldn't have worked out any better anyway. We're still going to lose some health. Don't have any keys still. Definitely in need of some keys. Oh, there's landmines everywhere. I'm trying to attack the blue ball that's floating around me. Because I'm very intelligent, you know? I'm starting to think that um, the salt shaker thing was probably like the best power up I've ever picked up. Increasing the amount of health that food recovers you by. That, that is really good. But yeah, I keep thinking that the the electric ball thing that's following me. I keep thinking it's a uh, slime. Can that thing damage chests? It can, but it, it only opened it anyway, so it's fine. Don't destroy my potion. I don't mind that I've lost out on a little bit of gold there, as long as you don't destroy that potion. No, no secrets. I'll try this wall again. Still no secrets. 
Try this one again, just in case you missed. No, okay, we're fine. Uh, fire some fireballs. Nah, I don't need it. Still more keys. Give me a key. Give me a key. Give me a key. Don't give me a key then. That's fine. Uh, was there a key in the shop, maybe? I don't think there was. I'm gonna quickly run back and check, just in case. But I'm pretty confident that there wasn't any keys in the shop. Kinda tight that the game's just not giving me any keys. What's this do? Removes a curse. Oh, Alright, okay. Yeah, that could have been handy as well. I didn't even realise it was there. I mean, we removed the curse for free anyway. Well, I say for free, it did cost a little tiny bit of health. Because I had to yeet myself into a into a pit. Yeet myself into the abyss. But other than that, it was fine. What do these do? Get a free item in every shop. And a unique bomb relic. I don't like that. Gives you a lot of bombs. Bombs brand enemies for sacrifice. I don't get it. I don't know what it does. I'm just going to take... I'm going to take this. I'd love somebody to tell me what the sacrifice bombs do. If you know what they do, please just... You know, comment section. Comment section just, just down there. Just tell me what it does. I don't get it. It's not something that I'm ever going to figure out by myself. So I'm usually really against spoilers in games. But if it's something that... All enemies inflict poison. Marvellous. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Um, reduce maximum health. I, I can cope with that. Yeah, if it's something that I'm never ever going to figure out. Like, unless I accidentally stumble across what it does some point off in the distant future. Then I don't mind people telling me. If it's something that chances are I'm going to see it by myself anyway, then then don't spoil it. But like, if I've specifically asked for something, then feel feel free. Tell me, please, please, just tell me, tell me all the delicious secrets that are being hidden from me. Because I, I need to know. I need to know these things. Ooh, a bomb. Hmm, interesting. I seem to pick up that bomb from quite a distance away. Oh, then again, I didn't pick that up from very far away. Can I? Oh, I get it. I, I get it. I understand what it does now. Pick up items at a distance and it should also still be able to pick up gold at a distance. So if I yeet that over there. Oh, that makes perfect sense. So I can just yeet axes everywhere to pick up the gold. What? That's mad. That is mad. I had no idea that that's how that worked. See, like that. I accidentally stumbled across it. I never would have figured that out by myself. To be honest, it not even crossed my mind as to why that power-up that I bought wasn't really doing much. I just assumed that the range on it wasn't all that great. Drop gold continuously. Don't mind if I do. So I'm going to take something that grants me gold from the shop for free. I'm just like essentially robbing the cash register. Nah. 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 Oh, you thieving little Torag. Oh, yes. And the little deal got a level up already. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. I appreciate that. I very much appreciate that. Um, don't even need any health. Um, okay, and we can get in here for free as well this time. Ooh, remove a curse. Yeah, I don't want anything else. So remove a curse. Fifty health. That's fine. Oh, and it's the poison one as well. Okay, I can deal with the less max health. Less max health's not too detrimental. Because I mean. There was a time when I had less max health anyway, and I've just upgraded it through a permanent upgrade. So it's not like having a bit less max health is really that much of an impact. It's really not. It's like a secondary upgrade at this point. But I mean, losing 50 health... I've essentially just paid 200 gold to get rid of a curse. That seems... seems worth it to me. Seems valuable. Okay. I'm understanding this. One bomb in the middle is not going to get them, I don't think. So I'm going to have to bomb them individually. Oh, it would be a cursed chest, wouldn't it? Raining fire. Marvellous. Removes a curse and deals 75 damage. Sure. I'll do it. Why not? 
Okay, no longer raining fire. And we got two keys. So 75 damage for two keys. Is it worth? Probably not, really. If I can get the health back, then then fair enough. I can handle it. Ah, oh, that's that's bad. I've been oil right there. It's like if those oil enemies had continued putting oil all the way across, then I wouldn't be able to get back through there. That's not good. Surely there's got to be a way to avoid that happening. Like if I just yeet myself into a pit multiple times, will it will it eventually just put me at the other side? For if if that happens, or is that it? If the exit to the dungeon or the exit to the next floor, rather, is beyond whatever hole you're trying to jump over. Can you just never get there if there's oil there? Oh yeah, give me the galoshes now. You would do. Now I've literally just been speaking about the oil um, stopping you from moving, well, from progressing. It gives me the galoshes that allow you to jump in oil. And create oil whilst jumping. It's... You know, it's fine. It is fine. Yeah, so now, now obviously, it wouldn't be an issue. But, I mean, it, it could very well be an issue. It's like, if, if it was blocking off this room, and there was just oil, I, I don't get how you'd get around that. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get around that. I think if you fall into the pit multiple times, it must just put you up the other side. The game must just be like, okay, we can clearly see that you're trying to get there, and it's impossible because because we didn't think this out very well, and the game's a bit stupid at times. So we'll we'll just we'll be nice and we'll plonk you at the other side. It, it must do. It must. I refuse to believe otherwise. I don't I don't think the developers are deliberately deliberately like screw you over like that. They they can't. And uh, what do we get? Ooh, this is good. This is real good. Totem of man boobs. The totem of moves. I know it's the totem of life. It's just, you know. I'm. I like to be a bit stupid every now and then. I like to make a joke. It's not the funniest joke anyone's ever made. But you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, secrets. Don't eat yourself off the edge just yet. Because I want you to break this. And you missed. Yoink! I don't know why I said yoink. Yoink wasn't even the right word. See you in a bit. I mean, not that yoink is actually a word anyway. I don't think it's ever been a word. I don't think it ever will be a word. Um, This is a bit of a crap secret area. It is, it is really, really crap. What is the the black slime? Is it like a shadow slime or something? Avoid falling into holes. More bombs. See, they give you like a full curse, not even a minor curse. New and more dangerous pilfers. What? Okay, I'm not into the... I'm not into that. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. But maybe they'll count as enemies. So my little, my electric rotated deal will be able to do something about it. Maybe. Oh, I was stood in the way of the saw blade. I didn't even realise. Okay, and then up here. Sweet. And see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Anything good? Plenty of gold. Gold's good. Um, but these new... The new pilfers are going to arrive. So, are they just like normal pilfers, but they deal contact damage? I wonder if that's the thing. That must be the case, right? I think, ideally, I need to get rid of that, then. That, that could be bad. I mean, if I can get rid of it soon enough, get rid of all the gold soon enough, yeah, then they're not really much of a hazard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like the rooms with the landmines. I know the landmine gives you a bit of a warning when it beeps. But I feel like there should be like signs. Just like skull and crossbone signs everywhere. Or even some like pre-detonated landmine marks. Just like random explosion marks everywhere. 
Just so when you walk into the room, if you happen to see one of those signs, you, you could go. Oh, landmine room. Be careful. Oh, I don't set yourself on fire then. I just feel that it, it's a little bit unpredictable at the minute. You can just walk in and the enemy could already be stood on a mine and you're just like, whoop. Whoops. Boom. There's not really, not really much you can do to avoid it. You have to be like super, super fast on your reflexes. Maybe it's just me that's not, it's not quick enough. That's probably more likely the case. But I don't, I don't know. I just, I feel that maybe something could be done to make it just that bit easier. Okay. I, I don't know why I'm doing this like I am. Because I don't think I'm gaining anything back from doing it like this. Got an additional bomb though. So I was trying to blow up as many rocks as I could. For the chance to get something out of them. But without actually losing out on any bombs. I can't... I can't walk this way. Wait. I can jump over it. What is there? Okay. I don't fully understand what that was all about. Remove a curse. Oh, and it doesn't even cost anything. No health. It got rid of the wrong one. If you're going to remove a curse, at least get rid of the right curse. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. So, we have slightly more health now. Just almost ran into a saw blade because I'm a complete and utter numbskull. But we've got weird, like, deadly pilfers. Instead of just normal nice pilfers that run away and giggle and stuff when you hit them. I mean, they still make the same noises. They're just, they're just scary looking. They've got red eyes, like demonic. Demonic glowing eyed pilfer. Do they have a different name? Or are they still just called, are they still just called pilfers? Delve more dungeon. I didn't realize this actually had more than, a name that was more than just dungeon. Bombag. Getting lots of bombs on this run. Actually, like, tons of bombs. Anything in here? There never is. There's never anything in I need to stop going up there. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to stop just in case there could be something there. I suppose there's always the chance. Okay, so just wait for all them yat yats. Yats to reet themselves. Wait for all the yats to reet themselves off the edge. Wait for all the rats to eat themselves off the edge, and then go and take care of the other things. Is what I what I meant to say. Obviously, it didn't quite come out like that. Ooh. How did that one get across the spike pit? Sneaky. Oh. So they can walk across there. Can I walk across there? I don't, I don't even want to test it. I don't, I don't trust that. I don't trust it at all. Ooh. 75 to get rid of a curse. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It, it could it could work out in my favour. Very much in my favour. Maybe. Could be the thing to save the run. I don't know. If I'd have not taken it, it might have ended up being a pilfer that killed me. You never know. Okay. So wait for him to start a lunge. I was going to try and bait him into lunging himself off the edge. Didn't quite work out as I was thinking. Maybe do it from there. I don't know. I just wanted it to eat, himself, eat itself. Just like... Save me the job. Save me the hassle. Save me some time as well. Loads of food. Ooh, what is this thing? Bomb blasts attract items. Okay. Free meat! I love free meat. I mean, you could have given me one of the more expensive items for free. Like, this could have been free. That would have been cool. You know, 1,500 free. But I guess meat works out just as well. I'm going to take that as well. Um, And do I take the key? I'm going to take the key just in case I don't find one. There's always a chance that I'm not going to find one. The other thing, bomb blasts attracting items. I don't really think it's going to be that useful. Plus, we're getting another unique bomb thing anyway, so... Uh, bomb explosions, chain lightning. Okay. I have 15 bombs now? 
I think it probably makes sense to start chucking some bombs about then, right? Especially if we've got chain lightning bombs, that could be interesting. Like, how much damage exactly will the chain lightning from the bomb do? Wait for these bats to come over here, actually. Because I feel like I can deal with them better up close. And I don't I didn't want to have to come over here and mess about with the saw blades and stuff. It just I was more in my comfort zone over that way. Found nothing. Aren't you a tight fisted skeleton? Oh no, little pilfers. Why are the little pilfers stealing all my stuff? Oh, what in the Oh, because of my orb. Oh, I didn't realise the orb could make the water electric -y if the enemy was stood in the water when it shocked it. Okay. Something to be aware of in the future. Definitely be aware of it. Oh yeah, that's it. Give me a free curse removal now. Oh, don't damage it then. Um, is there anything else that could give me a curse? No. Oh, I've placed a bomb. I do that all the time. Placing a bomb to try and close the map. But I'm thinking that B will do it because B is the back button more often, like in most cases. Doesn't quite work out like that though. Get yeeted. Okay, so next floor it is. There was a waste of a curse item, but that's fine. It's fine. It'd be nice if it carried over, if it was like a key, a key consumable type thing. So then you'd automatically negate the next curse that you got. Maybe that'd be an upgrade that you're able to get at some point. Like to be able to carry over the talismans or something. I don't know. I don't know. So we're on dungeon two. Is there ever anything in the mushrooms? I keep smacking all the mushrooms, but I don't feel like there's ever anything in them. Now I think about it. Okay, that dude is dead. Um, I'm going to take... All that gold. Yeet them guys into the abyss. And just completely spam that guy into submission. And then, I don't like the footman. The footman, the footman makes me nervous. Every time he stops, I think if you move backwards a little bit, then you're alright. But when he gets close, he makes me awfully nervous. Three keys. I have exactly no keys. So, no. No, no keys for you. I don't want... I don't want whatever's in there anyway. I'm sure it's crap. Okay. The healers are relatively easy to take care of when you've got chain lightning. Because there's usually a lot of... Well, the cleric things. There's usually a lot of enemies um, with less than full health. So they usually focus on healing those more than anything. Can I... Okay. So I can't bring the meat towards me. Which is kind of annoying. However, the meat has cooked itself, which is kind kind of cool. Yeah. So while they're busy healing everything else, they're not firing magical bolts at me, which is always nice. That was bad. I got caught right in the middle of that. Um. Oh, don't run into the crossbow bolt then. You complete and utter numbskull. Right. That that was that was bad. I did not do well then at all. So, can I not... Why will it not bring that towards me? I mean, obviously... I, obviously, I can just jump over. But clearly not. Clearly, you cannot jump over. What is this? Meal ticket. Free food at the shop right now. Ooh. So, I get a free item at the shop, and I get free food at the shop. I need to get to the shop. You know, if there's no shop now, I'm going to be pretty mad. I want my free item to be that barbecue thing. That barbecue thing looked good. It was expensive, so it must be very beneficial. Definitely need to get myself some more health going. Um, can't really see. There's a bush there. Can I reach this? I can. Only just so. I didn't dare go any further out than that. Ooh, peep. Got a key. Nice. Okay, so now I have three keys. Do I go back and get that other thing? Or do I go in here and get a blessing? Maybe get a blessing. I like blessings. I know it's going to give me a curse, but... Um... Actually... No. Keep them. 
Keep your blessings. I've wasted the key, but I don't want any of them things. Shop. Oh, delicious food. More delicious food. Bomb bags? 450 each. I've got loads of bombs. I don't need bomb bags. Remove a curse and deal 75 damage. Hmm. Tempting. It is tempting. Just to take it with me. For the next time I happen to pick up a curse. Even though I don't want to pick up any more curses. But you know I'm going to do it. You know, you know I am. I always do. I have to. If the curses are there, they're just too tempting. The items wouldn't be cursed for a reason. They're obviously cursed because they're powerful. And the chests are obviously cursed because there's good stuff in them. You know, otherwise they wouldn't be trying to protect it with a curse. It'd just be a chest. It'd just be a chest. It'd be unlocked and open. Just with brim, like full to the brim with treasures just staring at you. You know, but then all them treasures would be fake or crap. But if it's cursed, you you know that they're trying to hide something something valuable in there, something expensive. You know they are. That, that's why. I mean, the key for that is that going to be worth it? I mean, the skeleton could have something, maybe another key. Okay, a bomb. I don't need bombs. Key in here. Oh, it's a mimic. Great. Okay, jump over it. That's fine. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a baby mimic in the in the mimic. I would love if that was a mimic. Please be a mimic. Oh, why? I'd have loved for that to have been just a little tiny baby mimic. Just like trying to jump at me and bite my ankles. That would have been great. More free food? Oh, there's a curse thing there. Ooh, what's this? Drop bombs continuously? Nah. Nah, I'd rather not. I would most definitely rather not. Um... Yeah, I'll take that. Sure thing. Health is in a good spot at the minute. I know I'm spending a lot of money. Spent things on the previous floor, spending things on this floor. I think we'll get it back. I think the health that I'm gaining from spending money is going to be better than... Um, I don't want any of them. They suck. I want throw damage. More throw damage. Yeah, I think the health that... We're getting from spending money at the shops going to bring back more money in the long run. So I think it makes sense to, to buy the health every now and then. Okay, you shoot a bomb. The the bomb didn't really chain lightning very well. It did kind of then. It's not very good. I was hoping it would be better. Because I mean that was like right in the middle of the group. You'd expect it to only need to hit one enemy and then it just like chained to all the others. And it didn't. It didn't really. It, it was kind of, kind of naff. Kind of pants. Kind of poopy. I am going to bomb that thing though. See, I mean, I think it's because the bomb killed the enemy first. So then when the lightning appeared, it didn't actually do anything. It's a rat in a box. Everyone loves a rat in a box. I mean, how fast I can throw just because one axe hits the wall is unreal. I didn't even break the thing. There was a bomb right next to it. Just blow it up, dude. Um, we need to go in there. Because treasure. Treasure awaits. I'm so glad none of these were locked. What is this? Unique throw relic. Guidance. Ricochet the thrown pickaxe. Hmm... I don't know if that's going to be better than what we've already got. Probably not, if I'm honest. I'll test it. I'll test it. We can always come back and grab the other one unless a pilfer steals it. But I think the triple axe is better. I mean, it's alright. But it, it takes a long time for it to come back. I think... The triple axe is going to be a more diverse power-up. Because this is only good for big groups of enemies. Whereas the triple axe will be good for bosses as well. When you get down to a single enemy, that's a bit... It's a bit naff. Yeah, we're going to take the other one. You know, it's kind of sad that you can't like have both. Both would have been cool. Both probably would have been a bit overpowered. But it would have been cool. I'd have very much enjoyed that. Um, there's food in there. So, we'll like cook the food. I did not cook the food. 
Apparently explosions do not cook food, which is strange. Back up at full health. It's not often that I end up getting more health the further I travel in the dungeon. Definitely not ha not often that that happens. Anything in there? New. Okay. This big boom room. Really. I mean, I'm going to detonate it all because I can. Okay, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit scared. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. There was actually nothing in any of the barrels or anything. Kind of disappointing, to say the least. I was hoping for all sorts of good treasures to be in there. I mean, what, what was the point in all the explosives? Surely there needed to be something to tempt you to blow them up. Then again, I was pretty tempted to blow them up anyway. They didn't have to be any treasure. Oh, key ring, yes! That is the best. Thank you, skeleton, you will forever be remembered as the skeleton that gave me something that I wanted. And then I obliterated you into a million pieces. You are now bone meal. But, you know, it's fine. Because it's, it's good for the earth. Good fertilizer. You're, you're doing a good thing. You're doing you're doing a real good thing right now. Whoa! That was a lot of machine gun fire coming at me. Okay. Oh, come on. I did not land on that. Hit. Never mind. I was going to say hit the thing, please. And then I just yeeted myself off the edge anyway, so it's fine. Okay, please. No. No, no, no. Nailed it. Give me all the good stuff. Get off. That ain't yours. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Did, I, did I say we were sharing? I don't remember saying that. I don't remember saying... Here's some gold for us to share. I remember saying, this is my gold. Back off, pilfers. I got yeeted off the edge, apparently. I don't even know what happened. Ooh, they deal a lot of damage if you hit them at the wrong time. I didn't realise they did that much damage. Can I get the lovely fireball thing to just hit these? Maybe. Ooh, not there, I can't, though. Okay. Could have timed that a bit better. See, and the ricochet shots would have been bad there as well. If I'd have thrown one pick there, then it would have ricocheted to every single other enemy and would have just shocked me into non-existence. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go for a, a thing. Don't get burnt. Please. Yeah, throw damage. Less max health, I think that is. I'm fine with that. That is good. We've got a plus two on throw damage. We're in a good position. We are in a good spot right now. Ooh, that was a quick shot. Wasn't expecting that. This is a bad room. This is a very bad room to be in. Okay, it's fine. It's a little bit more manageable now. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy. That was tense, though. For a second, that was real tense. I should have got the gold tooth as well. But I bought the gold tooth from uh, from the blacksmith guy. This could have been, like, a super good run. Because all the gold I'm picking up, I'm sure I would have been healing quite a lot. Uh, I know there's more gold in here, but I'll come back and grab it in a minute. Ah, swing damage. Why is everything always swing damage? I don't want swing damage. Give me throw damage. Throw damage is far superior. I mean, the swing's only really good for getting rid of the pilfers. You don't need more damage to do that better. You just do it. Free potion? What potion we got? Swap your items around. Give me 16 keys. Oh, oh. don't mind if I do. And then I'll take... Um, three more bombs. That is nice. That, that is real good. That is good stuff. Um, should I buy the food as well? Yeah, why not? We'll buy a bit of food. We'll buy both? Yeah, why not? We can leave the key now, I think. No, I don't really think I need the key. I think we're good. Okay, okay. 
not interested in any of this. Okay, that... Oh, saw blade, why? I was just about to say, that actually worked out better than I expected it to. And then I landed on the saw blade. Minus the saw blade incident, that worked out better than I expected it to. So... If I hop down here... Is this going to be a little shortcut, kind of? Is it going to take me near where I need to be? Eh, uh, kind of. Just want to move down two rooms. Yeah, yeah, that... I think that worked out slightly faster. Not not massively faster, but a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, curses. Yay. Ooh, swing damage. Uh, not swing damage, throw damage. We did get swing damage as well, but I don't really care about that. The throw damage is where it's at. What is the curse? It's got a 50 on it. That sounds bad. Killing enemies destroys a blessing. Oh. Okay. I don't like that. Was there anything in the shop that could get rid of curses? I need to get rid of that. Uh, that is bad. Because it's going to get rid of all my throw damage that I've just spent a lot to acquire. Damn. Oh, did I, did I use the altar? I did, didn't I? I used the altar. Yeah, I did. Ah, pants. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll make do with it. I don't need I don't know if I need to jump there. I just do it anyway just in case. I think I think you probably do need to jump. Yeah, I'm not I'm not pleased about that. We're going to lose all that throw damage that I've just like I don't know. I just I don't wanted to keep it. You know, it would have it would have been good. Maybe. Maybe if I kill the enemies indirectly. And by that I mean use my orbital. If I kill the enemies with the orbital, maybe it won't count. Or if they yeet themselves off the edge. That might work. Maybe bombs would be alright as well. Food. I don't need it. We'll leave it there. We can always go back and get it. No. No. It, it, it still got rid of my things. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You know, we're, go we're gonna lose all of the benefits that we've got because of that stupid curse. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It is fine. I, I can I can handle it. We, we can deal with it. Don't worry too much about it. No, 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 no. Please hit the thing. Yes, I got it. Whew! And the canary's almost level 3. So, is there only 45, 44 now kills left on that? Has it actually got rid of a blessing yet? Or is it that... Is it that it'll get rid of one blessing? I think it's that it's going to get rid of one blessing, right? Okay, I'm just... Using all my bombs now. Yeah, so I think when it's completely run out, I will lose one blessing. Because I don't seem to have lost any yet, that I can see. So I've got 50... Uh, well, it, it, a maximum of 50 chances. Or 50 enemies. Worth of rooms to get rid of it. 100 to remove it. Or I get more throw damage. If I get more throw damage... Oh, is that throw speed that's down? Oh, why? I need the throw speed. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, because hopefully it'll get rid of the other the other blessing that we have. Um, sure, use a bomb on it. Why not? It's not like you've completely run out of bombs now anyway. Oh, wait. It is. It is exactly like that. Come on, level up. Level up. Just get to level 3, so I don't have to worry about picking gold up anymore. Um, there's lots of spikes for unknown reasons. Okay, got rid of that thing really quick. Did he just yeet a gargoyle at me? I think it just yeeted a gargoyle at me. I'd love it to have yeeted a gargoyle at me. As long as the gargoyle died, then it's fine. Oh, don't run into that enemy then. Bright spark. So I run into it again. And I'm poisoned because the spider landed on me. It shouldn't be able to attack that fast, really, should it? 
Um, yeah, I'll take that. I don't mind losing out on swing damage. I am more than okay with that, just for the extra range. To be able to hit them pilfers. That's good, that's good stuff. Drop a random chest. Don't mind if I do. Meat. And we finally got the level up. Ooh, and a key. Oh uh, yeah, because we're quite desperate for keys at the minute. Very, very desperate for keys. So that moves on to the next floor. The floor was relatively easy, to say the least. Oh, health. I knew they said felth. Oh, felth. I was thinking like food and health combined. Not too bright. Okay, this is a lot of oil. Ah, and conveniently we have galoshes. So I can get over there completely harmless. Look at it go! None of that none of that gold even hit the ground. That is good. Um anything else left to No. Oh there was food at the beginning. I left the food there for a reason, I remember. Give me the food. I go in the shop. I've got plenty of keys. And I have three items in the shop, so I'd kind of be silly not to, really. Could be a potion that gets rid of a curse. You never know. And obviously there's free food as well. Oh, and more free food. So I can take that for free. Uh, I'm at full health. So I don't really need that, but thank you anyway. Drop some useful things. Um, No, I'll leave it. Or do I take it? No, 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 I'll leave it, I'll leave it. It costs a bit much. I think it only drops a key and a bomb, and maybe something else. A key and a bomb and a piece of food, maybe. If it dropped one of them curse things, then then I'd be mad. If there was a chance it could drop one of them curse things and I've left it behind, then I'd, I'd kind of be mad about it, but I think we'll be alright with that. I think it should just be just fine. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I also didn't mean to hit the skeleton, but I'm kind of glad that I did now because it didn't have anything for me anyway. And he was actually going to get up and kill me. Or try to kill me. Okay, give me the fire damage. But don't actually set me on fire. Oh, no. No, no, no. Why would I spread the fire towards me? Why am I still on fire? Stop being on fire. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want to go anywhere near them red dudes. The galoshes are actually bad, in a way. It's like, they have a good benefit to them, the fact that you can jump when you're in oil. That means you're not going to be caught off guard by the oil. But they are bad, because they're going to get me killed, because I'm spreading oil everywhere. And any fire enemies that exist anywhere are just going to kill me. Is there any point in unlocking this? Oh, cursed items. Uh, float boots could be good. Um, reveal secret rooms. Secret rooms can have secret rooms. Increase move, attack, and throw speed at the beginning of battle. Hmm. Gives you two minor curses, though. I I'm going to do it. So what do I get in return? Um, lose more gold on death. Great. And receive more damage. Lose more gold, die faster. Marvellous. Hopefully it won't be too much more gold that I'm going to lose. Plus I have just bought the the upgrade for the backpack as well. Wait, didn't I buy two of them? What is that? Is it a lantern? Key doubler. Sometimes drop a key when using an old key. Sweet. You know, I'll take that for free. Why not? Why on earth wouldn't you? Uh, there's nothing else that I want in there. I may come back for a bomb bag. If I need a bomb... I'm, I'm going to buy a bomb bag now, actually, just in case. Just to save me having to backtrack. There's no point backtracking, really. We'll get that money back in no time. I'd like to be able to chain more lightning. That would be cool. Okay, destroy the skull. I'm not sure how much increasing movement speed is actually going to do for us. And it only does it for a brief period at the start of a fight as well. So it's not it's not really that good. 
Come on, just kill the thing already. I'm not wasting a bomb on you. As simple as that. That is not happening. No bombs are being wasted today. Goodbye. Give me a key. Okay, we want to kill that thing fast. Before it spawns everything. But you just want to kill everything as fast as possible. Make use of that increased movement speed and throw speed. Ideally, I want to get rid of the curse that's lowering the throw speed. Because that, that's really going to screw us over. So, nine more enemies and we're going to lose one of the curses. Okay, nailed it. Cannot be stopped right now. I am invincible. Immortal. Just an all-out beast. Got a decent amount of gold coming in now. So, I think need to stop being tempted by cursed items moving forward and work on getting rid of the curses phantasmal axe oh you are too kind doesn't do much damage but when you throw in three axes three axes that can then multiply into more axes that's good that's good stuff get me down to the next floor winner i'm having a lot of fun on this run this this run is a good run there's good stuff it's real good Get out of here. Give me that bomb. Don't think so. You little pilfer. Um, yep, I will gladly sacrifice a bit of health to get rid of one of these curses. It's 100 health though. Or more throw damage. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I've killed six more enemies. Because I don't want it to get rid of that curse. I'd rather it get rid of... Um, more, more than that curse. Like, multiple curses. If possible. That'd be great. Okay, how, the Phantasmal Axe is actually immense right now. There is just pickaxe power everywhere. I'm poisoned though, which is not good. Got a little bit careless, not gonna lie. Okay, so... I lost all of the throw damage. It didn't just get rid of one blessing. It got rid of multiple levels of the same blessing. Great. Great stuff. Thanks. That's that's real nice of you, game. Thank you. Kind of a douchey move, I'm not gonna lie about that. I could get more throw damage there. It's that's why it's doing it. It's trying to tempt me. It's trying to tempt me with more throw damage. Yes, that's the one I wanted rid of. Now I want rid of the throw speed. The throw speed down. As soon as that's gone, then I'll be a happy man. Hopefully I'll be able to recover some health. I mean, losing out on that throw damage, it's not all that bad. We're still doing decent throw damage. Obviously not anywhere near as, as good as it were. But it's fine. We can throw fast at the beginning of a fight anyway, so... So it's fine, it's fine. It's working out good. And the, the Phantasmal Axe is doing work. We just need more health now. Get a bit more health behind us and we'll be fine. Oh, the shop's like right here. So I can get some health now. For free biz. Two lots of health for free. And there's a big potion there. What does that do? Drop a chest? Yeah, I thought it was. We'll take that for free. Do I do I get the chest thing? Yeah, why not? We might as well see what it gets gets for us. Just a standard chest, nothing great. But it's a standard chest with another chest potion in it. Which gives us a standard chest. With some food in it. So I got more or less all my money back for that, I think. Plus I got some health out of it. I think we probably okay. We probably didn't quite make even break even, but it was close, and I think it was worth it for the amount of health that we'd have got back out of that. So that's fine. I'm I'm pleased with what went down there. Oh, ninja assassins! It jump, jump over it. Remember, you have to jump over them. I always forget about jumping over them. I wouldn't have even bothered, Skeleton. You do not stand a chance, not in the slightest. You don't know what you you don't know what you're messing with. Okay, that was bad. I have unleashed 
too many spiders upon myself. Okay, and I've electrified myself. Okay, okay. It worked out fine. It's, it's fine. It was a little... A little tense for a moment. I was fully puckered throughout all of that fight. But it, it, it paid off in the end. No, no, no! Don't yeet me off the edge as well! Okay. I thought I could have killed it before it got to me and exploded. Evidently I couldn't, but, you know, I, I was... I was pretty confident that I could. Enemies explode in arrows after a critical strike. And with the amount of attacks that I'm throwing out, that could be good. That could be real good. Do you have to kill them with a critical strike? No, just after a critical strike. Alright. I ideally want some more food now, though. We're on the boss floor. The fourth floor. Oh, why would you do that? I can't... I can't take all those curses, man. All those curses are going to be bad. They're going to be the thing that ruins me. And I lose my triple throw. But the chakram's too good not to take. It is too good, especially combined with the Phantasmal Axe. I, I had to do it. I had to. Do you have anything to say? Like, do you... No? Okay. I didn't know if I could, like, get him to set up shop up top or something, and then I could expand how many items he has on offer, or lower the curse cost. I don't know. I'd like to be able to negate some curses. That would be cool. That Chakram's too good. The Chakram is too powerful. Whoa. Oh yeah, great. Curses are going to be dealing damage to me. Uh, crits temporarily increase crit chance. Ooh. Wait a minute. Why are two of my things crossed out? Like, that's been crossed out. And... And that's been crossed out. Why are the... Decrease swing speed. Take damage for each of your potions each room? What? Disable two relics. Oh, you son of a... Fine. So if I chug my potion, I'm not taking damage every room. That's a stupid idea. Should have paid attention to what the curses did. In all fairness. We've got five bombs, so... Might as well just throw a couple down here. If I put it here, will it get the rocks as well? It did not. Doesn't matter. Yeah, give me that food. Oh, no, 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 you pilfers, why? They, like, sealed me in. So, I had no choice but to just jump. But obviously, jumping didn't really pay off that much. Wow. That is madness. That is actual madness. Just look at all the extra phantasmal axes that are flying out of that. <laughs> yep, the Chakram is amazing. That is such a good, such a good thing. I'm, I'm so glad that I traded that off for the other thing. Or traded the other thing off for the Chakram, rather. Okay, I need something that's going to stay relatively stationary. So, these should stay relatively still. Just look at the state of that. The state of the damage. It's actual, actual madness. It's so good. It's, it's so good it should be illegal. I think that's why it's a cursed item. I don't think there's ever going to be a way to get that without taking curses. They, they can't be. I mean, I could just leave it in the middle. Just lure all the enemies into it. Because they're all going to hit it eventually. I mean, I'm not going to do that, obviously, but I totally could. If absolutely necessary, I could just totally leave it there. It's so good. It is actually my favourite thing. I thought the triple throw was going to be my favourite thing until I picked that up. Ooh, that looks inviting. More bosses? Wait, are these two going to fight me now? 
Can I not mine that? Can I bomb it? Oh! Oh, get rid of a curse! What did it lose? No, it didn't lose any good curses. Oh, well, they're obviously not good curses anyway. Uh, another bomb for that. Give me something good. Or just... Fire crystals everywhere, I guess. So are these are these going to fight me now? Be a strange shape, Keyhole. Uh, we have a visitor. Another law. Yep. Oh, great. Just what we need uh, is another one of your kind interfering with our business. It's because of your sort we're in this bind. When the king learned that there were peasants roaming the dungeons, and even worse, the halls, a forbidden place, well, he wasn't happy, and now we're supposed to find our way into this terrible cavern. How did an orf like you ever make it here? Perhaps, sir, perhaps, uh, perhaps, sir, this peasant can help us. Are you crazy? I would be I wouldn't be caught dead working alongside. Oh, oh great. Did you feel that? Look out, something's coming. Okay. Um my chakram skills are not working as they are intended to. Okay, they are they are now. What even are these things? What is even going on? Do I have to save them? I don't really want to save them. I just want to leave my chakram there and then and then just run. Did she die? Is she dead? She's actually dead, right? Wow. Okay. That was... <gasps> that was only one phase? I was just about to say that was easy. Okay, okay. If I plunk it right on the nest... It seems to be doing the trick. Okay, okay. I don't want the fire. The fire on that is is going to get me killed. Because I'm going to set the whole arena on fire. I can't get the chakram to stay still on anything. Right, there. That'll do it. Oh, too close. What? Oh, the poison's getting me. I didn't even realise I was poisoned. No, 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 no more. Seriously? Okay, just get rid of get rid of everything that's down there. Please, please. This is tough. This is actually really tough. Please. Okay, that worked out quite nice. Okay, get a chakram on that dude. Get a chakram on it. Oh, still not not quite right. There we go. There we go. That is good stuff. Oh, he's immune to damage. The guy's a beast. I can't believe the lady died though. I made it. That was that was tough. That was challenging. Don't you dare take that key. That key's mine. I earned that. I saved you. Hmm, peasant, you're all right. I certainly am. So keystone. So is that? Does that unlock the next floor already? Alright, there is work to do. See you around, peasant. Or not, I don't care. So, I've unlocked the next floor, but I haven't actually done the boss of this floor. Ooh, are those brambly things gonna, like, actually damage me? This place looks cool. There's like... Oh, look at the reflections! That looks nice. That's cool. We're not, we're not going down yet anyway. Because, I mean, there's still... Other areas in this floor to explore. There's this boss down here that clearly I don't need to do anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway. I hope I don't die on that. I mean, even if I do, it's fine. It means I can progress to the next floor at some point anyway. But I need to go to the shop, first of all. Okay. Just carefully. Open that, that's fine. Let your canary pick everything up so you don't disturb any of the spiders. Okay, that's fine. We don't need to fight any of them spiders. What is this? If you have exactly five curses, removes five curses. Please, please tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Oh wait, no, that one's a blessing. One, two, three, four, five. No way, no. And it's free. That's gotta be too good to be true, right? <laughs> yes! Oh, this is the thing to turn the run around. Give me that health. Give me that health. Back up to full health. No curses. 
Okay, we've got less throw damage now because I lost throw damage, but I don't care. I don't care. We're back on fine form. That, that could not have worked out any better. Come on. I mean, seriously, what are the chances of just getting a potion just like that? Just happen to be lying around for free. You can't make this thing up. You cannot make these things up. That is mental. Please, please be an easy boss. Please be a boss that stays perfectly still. That I can just leave my chakram in and then run. Okay, I'm concerned. I am very concerned. What is this? Um, um. What is going on? Please just chakram it. Chakram it into the abyss. Chakram it out of existence. Okay, the chakram's doing work. The chakram's doing real good work. Bring it back, bring it back. Okay. There's, there's a light giving away where it's going to move to. I didn't realise before, but there is. We do with a bit more damage. Ooh, sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you just aim for that light, then you're generally pretty fine. Okay, my aiming's a little off there. Okay, okay, I think I think we're alright. We're alright. It's potentially going to move to another phase, though, at some point, so it's probably going to get harder. It's, it's tanky as well. It is, it is real, real tanky. Ooh, oh, brimstones. And whatever this thing is following me. Okay, you keep that up. Keep that up all day. I'm confident I can dodge this. And I can just leave that in you that's not doing any damage. Why is it not doing any damage? Ah, brimstone. Um. Okay. Oh, and it curses me. That's bad. I can't reflect these things. What do I do? What do I do there? Really? That's bad. That is bad stuff. Oh, that was such a good run. I shouldn't have tried the boss. I should have just carried on. I should have tried. I should have just carried on and claimed whatever I could claim. That was hard. That is a hard boss. How do you do that phase? There has to be something to it. I just don't. I don't understand what. Hmm. We'll figure it out next time, I guess. So we got a decent amount of gold there. Very, very good amount of gold. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how much we managed to bring back again. I'm impressed at how lucky we got with that curse removal thing. That is just that was just absolutely mental. That is the luckiest thing we could ever we could have ever got. Um iron woven sack, don't mind if I do. Is that a mall? No? Diamond studded pack. That's gotta be the last one. 20k? That's madness. That is expensive. Oh, I can't quite afford that. Got an alright amount of thorium at the minute as well. I don't really want swing damage. Swing damage ain't gonna do much for me. Um take this. The transmute thing, I don't know what that does. Maybe it'll allow me to turn some of my health into a potion or something. Like like a blood pack. Oh I forgot I got the I got the book. When did I get that? Was that even on this video? I don't know, but I got the book. Ooh. <gasps> new pets! Give me new pets, please. Please, new pets. Um, hello, peasant. I am the collector. My name is Griswold, and I work for the Archmage. As you can see, I collect creatures from the depths of the Undermine. Many fascinating creatures can be found, all with wonderful abilities, uh, attributes and abilities. If you find any, any hatchlings, please bring them to me. I will cook, uh, I mean, hatch them for you. Cool. What's a hatchling, and how do I get them? Wait, what, what, is, what is this? What is it for? Can I, can I has? Is it new pet? What's this? Ayo. Can I, can I not like, do anything with them? So, firebird. Ooh, a hot tempered bird? A legendary bird worshipped as a demigod in the desert to the far east. Ah, oh, when did I get that? I don't remember getting that. Or do you just get that for opening this place? 
So I can't get the snail. I can't get the fire. Can I get whatever this thing is over here? Mysterious creature? No. What about the slime? The pilfer? I want the pilfer. Pilfers are adorable. Um, so a miner's best friend. And the firebird. I don't know what a firebird will do. Familiar's firebird. Hot tempered bird. So occasionally fire fireballs at enemies. Uh, reduce incoming fire damage. And both the firebird and peasant deal increased fire damage. Duration of the ignite effect is increased for enemies. Um, we'll try it. We'll try it. I feel like I'm going to miss the canary if I use it, but we'll try it. Hatch. You have no hatchlings to hatch. Um, who is your favourite artist? Of course you would say that. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Fine, you're a baffling individual. I don't I don't understand anything about you. But you know, you do you and I'll do me. And and that's fine. We will just move on with our lives from then. So we've got the transmut thing. We can get a transmut expansion. I know it's transmute, but the it's got a three, so it's transmut three. We'll take a bomb upgrade. And then we will leave this one here and ready for the next video with I'm not even going to pronounce, try and pronounce that one. Julifee. Ju Ju Julifee. Ju I don't know. Whatever that is. With whatever this character's called. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.